Hey, we got a nice early start this morning. Things are still quiet, uh, except for a couple cars that go by. But we'll get the seats out. We'll get uh, we got a bunch of plastics in the trunk. I'll probably hit these with the power washer too when I get that thing out this afternoon. But I'll try to get everything stripped out of the car before lunch, and then in the afternoon we can hose some stuff down. Okay, pulled the front seats because they're quick and easy. Grabbed everything out of the trunk. Stuff that I hadn't really looked at when I bought it. I just knew we had some extra plastics. But it looks like we got wheel arches for days. So you know, a couple that are cracked will get replaced. We'll just pick the best ones to put on there. A uh, somewhat used clay bar. Probably used all of it there and wore all the paint off or something. But it, it'll need a spray down. Got a free jack. Some other stuff, and more importantly, we already had, I think these look like, they look like the, the Mark III heavy duty mounts. They've already got the bearings in them and all that good stuff, and that'll fix our, our gap. See this big old gap? It's because that, that bushing's eating shit on both sides, so. Well, the engine's out and the front's nice and light, might as well pop the wheels off and replace those. So we don't want to dig too deep, but. Next step, we'll get the carpet out and see what that hole looks like from above. Get the dash out, make sure I'm not going to fall through the floor. Uh, but that should have been like this area where that hump is. So this will all be strong. Fix it up. Get some paint and some sealant on it. Okay, dashboard is out and it's uh, probably, well, it's a mess. It, generally the wiring looks like this anyway, it's just stuff everywhere and this old foam that just crusts apart. So we'll get rid of all that foam, but we got stuff like, you know, what, what were you doing, right? Some big stereo or something, and then we got fuse boxes held up by speaker wire. You know, it's just, a lot of it's gonna go. A lot of it just has to go. I mean, a majority of the things in existence, right, like, like where doesn't seem right. Does that have power windows? I don't think this, these just don't go down? No, there's power, there's switches in the rear. It must be on the, oh, idiot, it must be on the dash. Shows. <laughs> so, uh, this was cut up to fit that Corrado center console, either Corrado or Mark III, Corrado, I think. Um, and it wasn't even attached to it, it was just flopping around. So, good part is switches are just switches so we can run stuff through the mark IV fuse box get rid of a lot of this nasty stuff just have wires hanging out saying here's windows here's locks here's whatever else oh this is power locks too window window sunroof it must be sunroof no sunroof's a crank oh to lock the windows i don't know we'll dig through all of it oh yeah look at that I wonder how well that seals. At least it moves. Ugh, headliner's disgusting. Maybe we'll get something cool like plaid. That was cool back in the 90s. So check this out. Started crawling around, noticed, hey, the hood release does still exist. None of the plastic's broken. They just only had it screwed in with one screw, so it would it would pivot. Dingus. Got a bunch of the wiring out. Uh, a friend Dom mentioned this is just the condensate drain for the air conditioning. So we'll leave it in place. There's no reason to. Well, we might take it out to paint, but we don't have air conditioning, so it doesn't matter. And then here's uh, all the engine bay wiring stuff. There's extra wires from where they came from. This too, a bunch of extra crap. And then pieces of harness, fuse box. Uh, don't be scared to just pull everything out. Um, they're well labeled. You can see, you know, you got letters for each one. Everything, I and mean, this stuff's been around since the 80s, so jump online, you can find all the wiring info you need. Once you get things kind of stretched out, get some of your own labels on them so you know what your important stuff is and where it goes. And then it's, it, it doesn't look as bad anymore. You know, a bunch of this crap, we'll have to figure out what it is. It's a bunch of steering column stuff. Um, probably use these controls. We'll have to splice it into the other the other box. We'll see. Um, and you can see in there, the foam is gone from the flat. It holes in it, so that won't divert air anyway. Uh, you wouldn't have 
heat or AC. So it's a pain in the dick to get in there and, and recover them. But I've done them before just with the aluminum tape. So um, it lasts, it's cheap, and I've got a big roll of stuff right here. Just a couple layers of that and uh, it'll get you going. But uh, after seeing that, I'm almost wondering if I want to pull that whole HVAC out and just not have it because I'm not going to drive this car in the winter anyway. You know, we don't want to do any further damage on Michigan roads and get all the all the salt. So maybe I'll just pull the whole thing out and not even have a blow. Well, it'd be nice to have it just blow air in the summer. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll think about it. But that sure is a lot of space to just jam stuff from the Mark IV instead of trying to find a spot to make it fit. So we'll we'll give it a think. Yeah, so here's that flap up close. Uh, decided it's probably a good idea to keep this thing in even if it just blows air. Because uh, we all know how Volkswagen's get in the rain. This thing will fog up like crazy and we'll want some kind of airflow coming out under the windshield. So get some tape on this now. Just knock it out while it's there. And yep. Okay, started a tape job and then remembered, hey look, he's got a buddy. So maybe we'll pull this whole thing out and uh, just to work on it easier, we can split it in half with the guts of her, uh, get them both taped. And then at the same time, I might be able to throw a uh, little heat exchanger guy for the air conditioning in it. Even if it doesn't get hooked up, at least it'll have the dingus end poking out into the engine bay. It's like, look at all that space. But, uh, now we can pull the carpet out and check out our hole. But I'm thinking it might be worth at this point, granted it's scope creep, exactly what I don't want to do. But, I mean, the pedal cluster has to come out anyway, so I can fab up parts in that. I wonder if it's been swapped before. I haven't touched these things in so long, but I don't recall Mark II as having a plastic gas pedal, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, pull the pedals, pull the steering column, then I can tape all these holes from the back to paint the engine bay. That won't add more than a week or two total work, and we're going to be waiting on stuff anyway, so uh, that may be in the cards. We'll see. So, I cheated, and I peeked, but this is going to be a whole other can of worms. When you got rust on top of your insulation, yeah. <laughs> we got a lot more to fix um, and I think that's rail of the car too so we're going to get some strong stuff in here um, this is now priority we want to get this done before we bother putting an engine in it because uh, I don't want this thing to fold in half okay here it is cleaned up a bit um, not ideal it's not but up by the edges you know things are looking okay we'll have to get underneath the uh the tunnel there and see but I think if we can get our hands on a whole section I don't know if they still stamp those or not just swap the whole thing out it should be fine but this is going to hit um we're going to be in scope creep zone where I think it's worth pulling all this other stuff up and making sure that it's okay if we're going to be in here this deep and fixing rust uh, we might as well do it the whole way right so I didn't want to have to do it but uh, we're looking at I might be unemployed for a couple months anyway, so might as well do it now and then hope I get hired back. Okay, back to Scope Creek. <laughs> the uh, spare tire wall looks okay. It's not tearing itself apart. The seat looks fine. These rear, I mean, I see a couple spots, but it looks like that's kind of surfacy just from the carpet being wet and it being old. Same up there in the corner. I think that's just on the on the surface. We'll find out for sure. But I think the order of business will be to scrape everything out and then deal with that side and paint all of it. Hopefully, it won't take more than a week or two. So jumped on the the old internet, and it looks like there's a couple choices. That driver's side, just the front driver's side floor piece uh, will run about 80 bucks plus whatever it costs to ship a giant piece of sheet metal so that's not too bad um, option two is that you can get the whole length floor panel for around 130 you know, plus shipping i'm sure 
but my one of my thoughts is I just do that because then instead of peeling off all of this soundproofing we just put new panels on both sides because everything you know all this looks good we can scuff it out and get another coat of paint on it but even the, the seat brackets are, are in pretty good shape there's nothing that can't be just cleaned up and painted again so the only downside of doing the whole pan is that I will have to take that off. I'll have to draw all these spot welds and take these out. Um, I just wonder which is more of a pain. You know, there's a, a small part of me that says you just do the driver's driver's side pan, get it back on the road, and then you know worry about it. If something looks worse in a couple of years, we'll take it all back apart. But at the same time, like you could just do it right. Could just get both pans and just do it, and it'll be over with. But it's a whole can of worms. It's gonna add like a month probably to this. So I don't know. We'll have to give it some thought. Okay, started back here. It came up pretty easy. Um, I think maybe in about an hour. Uh, I'll check the timestamp on the video. But uh, first wire wheel is kind of showing that it really is all just surface stuff. You know, back where this little plug is, we'll have to look at that and maybe weld something in uh, just to cover that up. I don't know why we need it anymore. Hopefully you can hear me over the neighbor's leaf blower, but if I do this on the other three, uh, it could save me a couple hundred bucks and it's going to take less time, I think, than drilling these out and welding them back in. So uh, that's what we're going to go with. We'll start peeling all this stuff out. I think the, the smart thing to do is to get the trailer out and then start clearing up some of this crap in the garage. I mean, if I get this stuff in the trailer, pull a car in here, then I don't need to worry about uh, if it starts raining, not being able to work outside. Okay, got some things moved around. Plenty of space in the trailer. I think we can fit everything uh, in the garage in there just by being smart about it. Put, you know, stack the rear seats on top of the front seats, stuff like that. Keep from getting too dirty. But uh, yeah, should go good. And I think all that uh, mouse nest material that's coming out of the car is never going to go back in. So I'm just going to throw all of it out and then. Maybe we'll do dynamite or something for sound deadening. There's got to be a product out there that doesn't soak up water and then become a rust bucket. I was putting some scrap stuff in the black Jetta and putting things in the trailer, kind of clearing the garage out. Uh, double checked the back seats, found some tools, and more importantly, a spare piece of glass for my welding helmet. So, super glad I double checked. That's a nice thing to have. All right, well, my brother stopped in, brought me some beer, which is great. Uh, and also, he's going to pick his motorcycle up. But I trapped him inside. I uh, got the garage cleaned up a little bit. A uh, bunch of stuff moved into the trailer. Uh, we'll just move this wiring. I'm going to trick him into helping me push this thing into the garage. Then we'll be able to work on it regardless of the weather. And it'll help keep some of the wind noise and the road noise down on video as well as we progress. And then I'd imagine the only time I have to pull it out into the driveway is to spray some paint. Even then, uh, I'm almost tempted to paint it in here anyway, just because of the wind. So, uh, we'll see. Maybe we'll make a little mini booth. Okay, so it looks uh, we're good to pull the thing in, except for pressure washing. So, we'll finish up the day with some, uh, some pressure washer pouring. We'll, uh, we'll pull out the smoker and clean that and some other stuff tonight. There's still plenty of time. But I want to at least spray this engine bay down before we bring it in the garage. This thing's had a life. Uh, whenever I turn it on, it's just on because that's not the original wand. It's one that I was given that works and it was free. So uh, I'm going to start a new clip in case I need to drop the... Oh, that guy was going to pass somebody. And he couldn't. Oh. Oh, there's one guy going slow. It's so sad. Yeah, you fucker. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, the, pe the people on this road are crazy. All right, uh, back to the task at hand. I'm going to start a new clip, fire that up. That way, if it's super loud and obnoxious, uh, we can turn the volume down. I'm also going to switch to the 240 frame per second and get some sexy slow motion power washing action. Yeah, here we go. I mean, who cares if it gets wet? It's been getting rained in for years and it's not sealed.
open. All right. Yeah, this will be as, as clean as it gets for now. We'll pull it into the garage and, and then work from there. But you're going to take a leak? All right. Everyone on the internet knows you're going to pee. Yeah, I think this should work out. It's uh, got plenty of space in front to walk around. There's not a whole lot we need to do in the engine bay. Mostly it's going to be inside the car for a little while. But I've got room to open the doors on this side. I should have room. Yep, the garage door will close. And room to open these up and sneak inside. And if it gets to be a pain in the butt, maybe I'll just take the doors off and stack them somewhere. But things look pretty good, so I think I'll, I'll collect some carpets. I'll get the, the smoker out of here and get its bricks out and do a little power washing. I won't have time to do the deck tonight, I don't think, but so at least I can get those other things done and start them drying out. Stuff's uh, cleaned off. Worked out pretty well. I mean, the bricks in the upper are just always going to be black because they get so smoky. But uh, it's well, well overdue service for this thing. And hopefully this next weekend we'll get it fired up. And cars in the garage. Things are looking pretty good. I'm not nearly as sad as I was earlier about that floor. Um, but tonight we'll get some things on order. We'll get that floor piece ordered because I think we'll only need that driver's side. Um, I'll get some door handles. We found our hood latch, so I don't need to order that. Start a price list and get that posted too. 